okay? It's not about teeth whitening, guys, okay? Who here likes people? Who here can pretty much make a friend with anybody? Right? I made friends with all of you on the screen. You didn't know me, but Tatiana told you you needed coffee to get ready for this class, okay? So it's easy to do, all right? The experience is not just when the person is in front of you. The experience is always. The minute a person has interest, whether it's a friend, a family member, a stranger, a phone call, a DM, there's a lot of different things that you want to make sure you ask a person and say to a person to make that experience be felt. Because if not, there are tons of people that do what we do, guys. Okay, but what's going to set us aside is going to be how we create the experience. Okay, so everybody, please do write this down. Okay, the top three questions when building an experience. Okay, the top three questions when building an experience. I'm not going to be admitting any, any, any other ladies, please. Just go. You can. This is my huge bottle of water. Everybody wrote that down? <clears throat> guys you want to ask everybody how did they hear about you okay how did you hear about us okay we we often don't we often don't think about that we often don't think to ask somebody right how did you hear about us that is one of the most important things i'm going to tell you guys why How did you hear about us? That sets it up because you're showing interest in your client. How did they find out about your business, okay? You also want to know who that person is that recommended them to you, right, Shai? So you could give that person a call and say, hey, thanks so much, Monica, for referring me Tammy. Tammy was great. I loved her just like I love you. Matter of fact, when are you going to come and see me? You know, and offer that person an incentive to come back or even to try out your service if they recommended you someone and they haven't even tried it themselves, Okay. A very important question, and that's for anybody that is in, in new in business or any other businesses, or this is your first, right? Granted, it's not going to be have you whiten your teeth before, but you should always find out what your customer's experience is from the past, right? So for all of your customers that call you, if you're already in business or new people, ask them, have you ever whitened your teeth before? Okay, guys? Let's find out about the client because the client has expectations that have nothing to do with you, okay? The reason that we ask these three questions is so that we can create realistic expectations. How many times do we, as the consumers, go places with unrealistic expectations, don't get explained anything, so don't expect anything at all except what we wanted, and at the end, we're disappointed, and then we say that didn't work. We don't want that to happen here. Okay, so you want to find out, have you ever gotten your teeth whitened before? And if they tell you no, guys, find out how long have they been thinking about doing it? How many times do you call a place and you find out information about a service? And then at the end, they, you tell the person, all right, I'm going to think about it. How many times, if, for, for my business owners that are already in business, right? You answer a bunch of questions and then at the end, the person says, all right, I got to think about it. I'll get back to you. Did you ever think to find out how long they've been thinking about it first so at the end you could tell them, come on, you told me that Monica referred you, Monica and you always go to the vineyards, you love wine, you stain your teeth together, you've been thinking about doing this for seven years, Monica already did it. When are you going to do it, Tammy? Come on, let's book an appointment. I'm not going to give you another year, I'm going to give you seven days. What day this week works? Do you guys get where I'm going with it? Right, you gotta keep your client engaged, get them excited on the phone, you know? There's a lot of times that we just start a business and we think that we're gonna answer the phone, hello, how you doing, okay, when do you wanna come in? It's not that easy to get us, so it won't be that easy to get other consumers, but that's okay, we're gonna make it easy because we're gonna find out cool things that make it easy to break the ice, right? So, fun exercise, you ready, Shy? You're gonna participate, everybody on the screen with the cameras on is gonna participate, right? Who here drinks coffee? I clearly do. <laughs> <laughs> Who here drinks tea? Who here drinks dark liquors? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this class. This class is I fun. got two hands up. <laughs> <laughs> Who, here drinks, Who here drinks even the, the light wine and light liquors, which are acidic, that also mess up your teeth? Oh, look at Julie. Julie, you look like a Patron girl. Is that right? Yeah? Okay. Who here smokes? <laughs> Oh, 
I like how those people raise their hand happy. You must have had your daily dose. Good job, good job, good job, good job. <laughs> now you see how easy that was? We're all friends, we're all vibing, whether I'm vibing with my coffee drinkers, my smokers, my wine drinkers, my green juice drinkers. Break the ice, okay? So this is my million dollar question. It's question number three, so obviously they're no importance, right? Of the order that they're in. What is your staining habit? What is your staining habit? How do we not know that? How are we here like the stain savers of the world? We don't even know how our clients keep stain. That is very important. What are your staining habits? The reason I like it, it's also on a sales basis, right? Because look, now we all could just break the ice and laugh, right? Rose went into the screen like, <laughs> I like that, Rose. I like how you did that. But you can make it easy too. So now when you find out the person that was referred by this person, you know that you know a similar story. And then when you find out that they've never whitened before, you get to find out how long they've been thinking about it. And then when you find out their staining habits, you know what they've been doing this whole time, but also not doing anything about it because they've been thinking about it. Now, if we called the places we call for beauty services and got asked some questions like that, right? I'd give my credit a debit card because you know the minute you hit dial, you already subconsciously have the funds. You just need that extra push. And if it's, if it's going to be from yourself, you're going to need to hear more, right? So that's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to start to provide more. Now, on the waiver, the first statement is, right, people with healthy teeth and gums but who have stains or a yellowish tint seem to get the best result. 